Greetings, Earthlings. It's your uh, old pal Moniker. I'm uh, trying on something a little different this time. Um, and I know it's a bold move for somebody who just started LPing, like, uh, you know, earlier this week. Um, but I want to try playing a little Spelunky. I, uh, I actually got into the indie gaming world through roguelikes, and this is uh, platforming meets roguelikes. Um, for those of you who are not in the know, um, roguelikes are um, sort of turn-based Diablo. Um, dungeons are randomly generated, and if you die, you die permanently. There is no going back, uh, no saves whatsoever. So it's a very unforgiving format, but um, if you can get into it, it's uh, some of the most forget or f some of the most satisfying uh, gaming you can have. Um, so this is an interesting take on it. Um, you're basically a cave diver, um, fucking uh, Indiana Jones, and um, your task is basically just to to shoot down this dungeon and uh, collect loot and um, plunge ever further into the depths. Um, I have no idea what the end game is like, although I've uh, I've heard there is one. Um, so it will be a bold experiment for us all. Um, I played this a couple times before, um, and I'm I'm not horrible at it, but you can see I'm already struggling with the controls. Um, so this will be more, instead of something I'm going to play constantly to, uh, you know, beat, it'll probably be more something, um, I play from time to time as I feel like it, um, circumstances permitting. Because it's a fun game. Um, so yeah, the damsel, they, uh, they give you, lay a big smooch on you and, uh, that's your only way of recovering health is to to rescue a a maiden. Uh, now here is a shopkeeper, which I'm tempted to to pull a demo, but ooh, you see, he doesn't really have anything I particularly want, but the the want and violence of it is very tempting. Okay, here's here's uh here's shop theft 101. Oh, he did not die. I am in big trouble. All right. I got to get out of here. Each shopkeeper sports a shotgun. Um and it wasn't even the shopkeeper who did me in. You die a lot. And, uh, you know, you thank Jesus that such a thing is possible in the first place. These traps are the fucking devil. Um, because they're always just hiding there right on the periphery. And uh, you never quite... You always miss one. And it takes you down two hits, which is quite a big deal. Um... But I'd gotten fairly far in this game uh, before my computer crashed and I had to like reload everything. Um, once you get to a certain point, you can there's like a checkpoint um, where you can skip down to further in the game. All right, let's see if. Fuck! God fucking damn it! This is one of the few games, one of the few platformers where it's generally not to your advantage to uh, spend the game running. Alright, see, now I see him. Now, if I fall down this hole, he will shoot me and I will get hurt. So there is a way around this, however. I hold my bomb, I teeter on the edge, and he is fooled. And then I take my bomb, and everything is hunky-dory. That is one hell of a trick, ladies and gentlemen. Um, obviously, I'm taking this much more seriously than Cave Story. Because um, it is nearer and dearer to my heart. 
Now there's a caveman. Oh, there's a damsel. Alright, I'm going to deal with this box here first. These boxes hold untold quantities of goodness in them. I think what I'm going to do is, you know, go ahead and explain the game first in this, uh, in this episode, and then in further episodes I'll just, you know, do my normal routine. Um, that's enough out of this one. My hero. That's all that heroes ever get is a quick kiss. At least Indiana Jones got his, you know, fuck on every once in a while. Um, a shopkeeper. Yeah, since I already demoed, buying bombs is generally not worth it unless you're running low, and I've got quite a few stashed up. There are some pretty freaking awesome things you can get from a shopkeeper, though. Um, I won't spoil it, though. Um, although, one of these items, the initials are JP. And uh, I'll just let, I'll let your mind run wild with the possibilities of, of what that could possibly be. Um, and it is as awesome as it could possibly be. So, all right, second playthrough, or I guess third, and I'm already down to level three. This is this is an accomplishment, ladies and gentlemen. This is not an easy game. It may not look like much, but that's because, uh, you know, you haven't tried out... Okay. Clothing. Spectacles. I forget what these do. Climbing gloves let you grapple onto any surface. Pitcher's mitt lets you chuck things. Um, can I afford this? Yes. I'll go ahead and buy this. Spike shoes. I'm going to buy that too. Okay. So now I can grab onto any surface. Not just ledges. Which is uh, good. Which means that I don't need to you know, throw down ropes everywhere in order to, uh, to get places. Well, except for obvious circumstances like, uh, oh no, I can make it. See, the, the usefulness is already making itself apparent. Alright, gotta get this damsel. If you can get yourself in the, uh, in the black in terms of health, you count yourself one lo fucking lucky motherfucker is, uh, is what I'm going for here. Um, I'm just, I'm too excited is the problem, um, for this to be going so well so soon. If you, uh, if you linger too long on a given level, uh, a ghost appears, and, uh, similar to, uh, an untitled story, and, uh, just, uh, completely rocks your world. This key leads to, uh, one of the game's, um, first artifacts. Which, if you're into roguelikes, that's that's the name of the game, basically. Is finding artifacts. Hopefully I don't destroy the chest. Okay, we're good. It lets you see gems wherever they are. Hidden in the rock. Um, which is not that useful, actually. Um, unless you have a pickaxe. And pickaxes do not last very long, so oof. That was uh that was very lucky. What I like about this is it it uh it fulfills all of your, you know, platforming sensibilities. Um it seems to be running on the cave story engine almost. But um But you can jump on enemies, um, you can run and jump. There are even firearms in the game, but um, you can toss things and they interact in a, in a very, you know, intuitive manner. Holy shit, I already made it to the, uh, the second stage here. I made it to the jungle. I'm uh I'm quite impressed with myself actually. I'm gonna give myself you know a nice little uh, pet on the back here, 
All right, what do we got here? Climbing gloves, I already have those. A Matic. Matics are not that useful. A compass is, however. It, uh, you see that little uh, pointing thing? It lets you constantly know uh, where the exit is. And I have no idea how they deal with monkeys. I actually have not spent much time at all. Yeah. Well, I think that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not going to push my fucking luck. Um, yeah, I love this fucking game. Uh, so I take it very seriously. I didn't even curse that much. I'm in love. This was Moniker. Farewell, Earthlings, for another day.